Would alien beings evolved on another planet see the world the same as we do? Here on Earth at least, there are many examples of creatures with superior vision compared to us humans. One group of species that has become especially famous are mantis shrimp. Webcomic artist Matthew Inman of The Oatmeal already mused about how the mantis shrimp must see a thermonuclear bomb of light and beauty. The reason given for this is that their compound eyes have 12 different kinds of photoreceptors, each attuned to different frequencies of light. Humans only have a measly three. So it is assumed that their color vision must be both completely alien and spectacular. But is that really so? And what would this mean for color vision in extraterrestrial beings? Let's find out. So what would it be like to see a different version of reality? The closest thing to a fellow sentient with a very different view of the world and that we can talk with are people with color blindness. It can be hard for them to comprehend how most humans see the world and the other way around. But what is color blindness? To understand that we have to know a little more about color vision itself. In our eyes there are two kinds of light-sensitive cells or photoreceptors, rods and cones. Cones are used for detecting colors and humans have three kinds to distinguish all colors of the rainbow. That is, the rainbow that is visible to us humans. Electromagnetic wavelengths go way beyond either side of the spectrum and with our eyes we can only detect a tiny sliver of it, which we call light. With people who are colorblind, one or more types of cones are not functioning properly, so there are certain colors that they cannot distinguish. Actually, most mammals are colorblind compared to humans and other primates. Dogs, for example, see the world in hues of blue and yellow because like most mammals, they do not have cones sensitive to red light. And therefore, there are a lot of colors they are missing out on especially red and green. But why do humans or primates in general have color vision and most other mammals do not? Well, the question can also be reversed. Why don't most mammals see more colors when most other vertebrates like fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds and even marsupials do? The theory is that ancestral mammals chose a nocturnal lifestyle to get away from the dinosaurs that roamed during the daytime. It was during this stage that the ancestor of placental mammals partly lost color vision. This made them so-called dichromats because they only have two types of cones. Trichromatic color vision evolved again in primates by the renewed addition of red sensitive cones. The adaptive reason for this probably has to do with making it easier to find fruits or young leaves in the foliage. And that is something we as humans can be very grateful for. For some of those fellow humans who are missing out on the fun, there's help to get. There is a company called Enchroma that has developed a kind of glasses that enable color vision for most people with color blindness. But how can a pair of glasses at all fix what seems to be hardwired in our eyes and nervous system? Well, that is because most forms of color blindness in humans are actually not caused by the absence of one or more types of cone. Rather, it is because the color sensitivity of two types of cone overlap too much. So when one type of cone responds almost as much to a certain color as another, it becomes virtually impossible for the brain to figure out what color we are seeing. 
And chroma solution to this is achieved by filtering out the colors in the areas of overlap so the different types of cone do not respond to the same colors. And that makes it possible for a formerly colorblind person to start to distinguish those colors. Much to the delight of them and their close ones. But what's so special about visible light anyway? Well, there are actually many reasons why visible light is so special. First of all, as it so happens, the sun's emissions peak at this very range. Also, higher frequencies as well as lower frequencies are generally blocked by the Earth's atmosphere. At the same time, visible light is that collection of frequencies that interacts with the world around us in a way that provides most information about it. It may be absorbed and re-emitted in different frequencies by different kinds of matter, enabling us to better differentiate what we see. In contrast, frequencies in the infrared range mostly convey heat. Even lower frequencies still, like radio waves, just travel through many forms of matter without any interaction. And frequencies in the ultraviolet range and higher are increasingly destructive. Fortunately, ultraviolet radiation is largely blocked by the ozone layer and even before Earth had one, it couldn't travel very far through water, where life first evolved. But then it would seem odd that water creatures like mantis shrimp would see many more colors than we do. And as it turns out, they don't. According to a paper published in Science a few years ago, Mantis shrimp color vision isn't as spectacular as we hoped it would be. It also wouldn't have made sense in the first place. Having more different kinds of color receptors does not add more color to a creature's vision when it still basically covers the same spectrum of visible light. Mantis shrimp vision is actually even worse in some ways. According to the experiments done, mantis shrimp could not even distinguish colors 25 nanometers apart. For humans, it is at most 5 nanometers. Mantis shrimp eyes seem constructed in a way to enable them to quickly discern food or foe, but not to appreciate the fine arts. So when considering alien color vision, the number of color receptors is irrelevant. What is relevant is their range. And this range is determined by the conditions under which alien creatures evolved. For instance, planets around red dwarf stars like Proxima b have a dim environment dominated by reddish light and because of that, plant life that appears black. Creatures on these planets may not evolve multicolor vision at all but see the world in hues of grey. In any case, unless we are talking about entirely different conditions for life, the light that is visible to Earth creatures will likely be pretty close to what aliens from other worlds will see too.